Hello, friends. So, there was a motorcycle passing by in front of my house. Anyways, hello, friends. Um, I am going to be painting today. <laughs> exciting so let me tell you a little story really quickly during quarantine i mean i guess some could argue that we still are in quarantine but like during like quarantine quarantine where you literally could not leave your house for anything um i got into the habit of painting i would like draw or i would make it a goal to like draw or paint something every day and i actually did that pretty consistently for a couple of months maybe like two months but lately i just have not been doing that anymore i actually um, have been spending too much time playing Fortnite and <laughs> other games like Hellblade and it's just not creative of me. So I decided that I wanted to be a little bit creative today and do something artistic. My goal eventually is to be able to paint a realistic portrait. So I'm going to start trying to make my way towards that goal from now on. I'll be painting I actually don't know what I'm going to be painting yet, I still have to decide that, but it'll be something related to faces, so either an eye or lips or maybe an entire face. We'll see what happens. I have made a conclusion about which image I want to use for my painting today, and it's a very fun one. And there he is. An all of his glory. Look at that guy. Will I get copyright claimed for this? I don't really know how YouTube works, so I'm kind of new to it, so... But yeah, let's get this party started. Why do I always say that in like every single video? <laughs> Alright, so first things first, I started by using my reference picture, which I showed you guys to draw out a sketch of spongebob in pencil and then the plan was i was going to erase it afterwards and then paint over it and you know whatnot so as i showed you guys in the reference picture it he spongebob is eating a burger or a crabby patty as it is called and he has like a table full of food right in front of him right but you know, me being my <laughs> creative self, you know, I decided to instead make him eat a cupcake and have desserts on the table in front of him. So yeah, he's not going to be eating a Krabby Patty, unfortunately. But yeah, this part I struggled a lot with the eye. God. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Drawing eyes is just so difficult for me. Oh yeah. Um, as you can see, I just drew the uvula right there. Um, I actually, fun fact about me, I have a, I don't know if you could call it a deformed uvula, but I'm pretty sure that it is because like forever, like <laughs> since the moment I was born, my uvula is like a ball. You know how it's like supposed to like hang? It's like a little like, looks like it's like hanging, like it's kind of long. Well, mine is just like a ball. It looks like a lump and it's just in the back of my throat. And I've like told the doctor before, you know, I'm like, hey, is this <laughs> normal? And they're like, uh, yeah, it, it's okay, I guess. So yeah, they just said, unless like it started to hurt or something, or like I got some sort of infection back there, then I'm completely fine. But yeah, it's just a fun fact about me and my deformed uvula. It's a nice looking cupcake if I do say so myself. This video actually took a week for me to film because even though it looks like a quick job, painting and drawing this thing took a lot of energy and time. And also I had to like set up the camera at a certain angle so that it would be like facing down and you could see what I was doing and everything. And also I got my, today is Sunday, but I got my teeth pulled out, two teeth pulled out last week on Monday um, because I have braces. So to make room for my overbite to close, they pulled out two teeth. So that was so much fun as you can imagine. 
and yeah that all sort of put a pause on me recording this video as well because for a day i was just not feeling well like my mouth was like in pain and then also for the entirety of last week i could barely even eat i still am more or less unable to eat but it's getting better I also had some camera issues, the camera kept like just turning off or, or dying or my space kept running out so I had to like stop filming, stop painting and then upload everything I had recorded to OneDrive and then delete everything on my SD card and then start filming again so you can tell it wasn't just the painting part that took a long time it was like all the logistics and all that stuff oh god this part is also blue don't even ask about that. It, it was my LED lights in the background that were just, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry about the color imbalance there. It's kind of weird, but you know, just gotta deal with it. But yeah. Oh yeah, so as I was saying, I got my teeth pulled out and for the first day I could literally only like drink things. So I drink like a smoothie and like a protein shake and stuff like that and just water pretty much for the first day and then on the second day i ate just very soft foods like jello and yogurt and soup and then gradually i've been eating like normal food so at this point i can eat like most foods as long as they're moderately soft but i can't eat like chips or like anything that's like hard or like crunchy that could like damage the blood clot that has formed i'm sorry this video is disgusting <laughs> anyways yeah that's a lot of fun i also could like not speak for like three days so when i would go to work because i work i'm interning at a law firm um in my city so i would go to work and i like just could not speak to my co-workers for like a few days but yeah I love the little like I don't I think they're called clay erasers or, or I don't even know what the, the little they look like clay or like play-doh the one that I'm using right here but it's an eraser and I love them so much they're literally amazing they're my favorite things in the entire world um, because you can like get like tiny little spaces that you can't erase with like a normal eraser but the only thing that I don't like is that it's like hard to erase if you're using a certain type of paper or a certain type of pencil so it's just yeah but yeah they're amazing i love those so much but yeah honestly this video was <laughs> a war zone to film <laughs> like i i had to get my sorry chins out of bed um <laughs> while i was like I, I was like bleeding from my mouth and I just wanted to finish painting and recording and then by yesterday or Friday actually when I finished painting it I was so done with this whole thing and I mean I think it turned out good I think it turned out pretty good but it was just <laughs> it was exhausting to do but I really did enjoy it it was it was nice to get back into the habit of painting and knowing that I wanted to have this video done by today Sunday I think helped me push through it and like be like no I have to sit down and keep painting today and it also helped that I was able to watch like YouTube videos and listen to music while painting and everything so that was good can we also talk about how weird Spongebob was as a show like the show itself like I think about it sometimes it was just so odd like what even was it it feels like a huge a long fever dream <laughs> the the shit that he would do and all and all that stuff like the characters were just so interesting like spongebob was always vibrant and happy and patrick was just dumb like why like a starfish he's just dumb like that's why like how do you even come up with a character like that and then Squidward would just, was just cranky all the time. Mr. Krabs loved money. Like all the characters had a niche or like a quirk that was there. It was just such a weird show.
in the spongebob movie oh that was even weirder like that one like guy like with the spiky boots i watched that movie as like a, a six-year-old and that scared the shit out of me i'm not even joking they were trying to they had like a bag of wind and they went through like a hell looking place at some point i don't even know what was going on there is it just me like seriously like is it just me that thought spongebob was really weird it just felt like a fever dream like a like those weird dreams you have when you're really sick and you just like dream about <laughs> wandering i don't even know you just have to have some really weird dreams you know also forgive me if you can't really understand what i'm saying it's a little it's just a tiny bit hard to talk still because i don't want to like press my tongue on the roof of my mouth too often um to not disturb the blood clot you know speaking of the tooth extraction that i got i this whole week i've also been paranoid of getting dry socket which is when i'm sorry this is also disgusting it's when the blood clot so when you get your tooth pulled out it like bleeds consecutively for a few hours and you have to bite really hard on a piece of gauze um, in order to stop the bleeding and so that it clots, right? So then once it clots over, it's like the clot hardens and whatever and whatnot. And then um, that's basically there to protect your raw bone and like all of that stuff that's going inside where the tooth was literally broken off of your skull, right? Um, so sometimes that's why you have to be really careful about what you eat and what you do with your mouth and whatever. Um, but yeah, so sometimes the blood clot falls off or it like disintegrates and you can already tell that that's not good because it's there to protect your bone, right? So then if it falls off, then your raw freaking bone is just exposed and it's like, no, and then it, it'll hurt a lot. Like that's, that's pretty much it. Like it'll, it'll be very, very painful and it might get infected too. So I am like terrified even now because I, I think now I'm like more or less like healing you know because tomorrow it'll be a week since I got my teeth pulled out and supposedly it takes seven to ten days for it to like heal and like the blood clot to like completely you know be on there so I'm like good now but like I'm still terrified that my blood clot will fall out and that my raw bone will just be there in a gaping hole inside of my skull and it'll hurt like hell so <laughs> the green part on this drying was kind of hard to do like the floorboards i could not figure out how to get the color correct i feel like no like the color i think it was like more or less the same color but like the little details like it was hard to actually make it look like wood um, so I struggled with that a little bit, but I think it, it, it's, it definitely does look like wood, but I, it's not like identical to the picture as I wanted it to be. Not gonna lie, that cupcake do be looking pretty tasty though. I'm not even joking. Oh yeah, that part, did you see how I also just skipped over an entire, like, section of painting? I also don't know what happened there. I was, at one point, I was considering giving up on this too because of how much, like, my camera was just, like, turning off or, like, I didn't have enough space to keep recording, so I just didn't film some sections of it, so I'm sorry that I don't have all the footage, but, you know, I had to work with what I have, and I, I got most of it, like, 80% not like 90% of the footage is here so I think it's all good you can see plankton's what is it called plankton's home or his K 
can. I don't even know. What is it called again? <laughs> the hell hole that Plankton lives in in the back over there in the background. Yeah, that section too. <laughs> I just completely fast forwarded to <laughs> painting the sky blue. Is it just me or like what what were those things you know those things that i just painted right now like the little flower looking things like are they supposed to be clouds in like the bikini bottom like you know how it's like it's a sky and then like yeah clouds or whatever but like in real life like what are they is it like seaweed or like some type of flat like what is it <laughs> is it just floating there because you know how it's like just always in the background of like every spongebob scene i don't know it's just weird to me Ooh, look, it's Plankton's thing. Oh god, I just skipped to it there too. Um, I kind of just skipped through a lot of it, and I'm sorry about that, but it wasn't completely my fault. It was because my camera was running out of space. But like I said, I got most of it, and this is how it ended up, and I'm really happy with it. And I know this wasn't like realistic drawing or painting like i said it wasn't gonna be like obviously but i think it was still a very good practice for me um like with shading and tones and all of that sort of stuff so yeah thank you for watching this video please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and maybe consider subscribing have a good rest of your day bye